Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and in today's video we're going to be covering the Should You Buy on the newly released Argo MPUV Tractor. Now this ship is similar to the other Argo vessels that we know of, basically being a ship capable of carrying a pod to and from other ships as a loader, um, just in different ways. This variant comes in at $35 war bond, meaning that LTI um, is included, but only if you're throwing in new money or $40 on a standard purchase. Um, but the timing on this is fortunate, meaning that you get 10-year insurance, which is basically war bond um, for only five bucks more since this is being sold during uh, Invictus Fleet Week. This ship is a cargo loader, basically an Argo cargo with a tractor beam that is focused on getting cargo off other ships or loading it onto your own. Um, the traditional Argo cargo relies on carrying the pod beneath you, um, but this variant's a little bit different, being that it doesn't have to have a default pod to bring along, but it does provide you with two tractor beams, one on the front and one on the back, to help ferry those items around. That tractor beam on the front, which is located above the cockpit, is a size 2, while the beam on the back of the ship underneath the primary thrusters is a size 1. Um, you also have a carrying port underneath the ship like the other Argos that's able to carry a standard 16 SCU box or either of the boxes that the other Argos can use being that personnel pod or the cargo pod, which comes with the grav pad inside of it. But here's what we know about this vessel at this point. Shouldn't be that surprising since it's basically a clone of the other ones that we already have, but it's 9 meters long, 8.5 meters wide, though Urkel says it's 10 meters uh, and 4 meters tall, while Urkel says it's 5.5. Um, basically meaning it's the exact same frame as the other Argos. This is a single person ship with no quantum drive, putting it in the snub category with the purpose of running between ship or station um, or other ship to deliver something between the two. Uh, the speed is set at 115 meters per second for SCM, so very low, um, with a max speed in space at 899, which is okay. It's kind of constellation speed, so um, not, not gonna blow your mind by any means, meaning that this is a slow moving ship overall. Um, the pitch, yaw, and roll values are at 25, 25, and 75, making this a very um, slow-moving ship. But with 14 maneuvering thrusters, it is controllable, just not super responsive, which you might expect from something like a forklift. Hydrogen capacity is at 30,000, and when compared to a full capability ship, um, that is going to be pretty low, because most of those are going to be closer to 100,000 or above. Um, you have no weapons on board, as this kind of uh, is that space forklift. But you do have countermeasures to avoid missiles, which is nice. Um, you have 48 decoys and five noise countermeasures. The cockpit has good visibility, um, though it does look very industrial. It's nothing fancy. Um, and then here's what we know from the Q&A post. You are unable to swap the tractors for other types of hard points, so no weapons. Um, you can also carry three total boxes, one in front on the tractor beam, one behind on the tractor beam, uh, and then you have the traditional mount underneath. While we don't have a full list of what the Argo tractor can fit in, we do know it's the same size as the other Argo ships, so what they fit into, this will fit into as well. Um, they also call out that while this ship is designed for taking cargo from other ships to other places, basically being kind of a logistics pig, uh, they say it can be used for local deliveries as well. But considering the scale of the universe and the speed here and the lack of a quantum drive, that's not going to be super practical. There's definitely some confusion on the ship generated by the sales and Q&A posts, mostly focused on the areas that state that the tractor is, quote, an MPUV with two tractor beams. Then, when asked if you can get a cargo or a personnel transport pod, CIG says, quote, in the future we plan to allow this. Followed by answering a question surrounding can the other two variants being the Argo cargo and Argo personnel equipped tractor beams, when CIG states, quote, currently no, they're still using the older ship model. However, in the future, they will get an update, which includes making the pods interchangeable. So what's the deal with these ships? Uh, initially, we had the Argo cargo and Argo personnel, which was two ships of the same hull, but with different pods attached that had different capabilities. You're either carrying people or you're carrying cargo. Now we get this variant, which again appears to be the same ship, but has no cargo pod, which the others had by default, but sold with no pod, but has two tractor beams attached, which the other two do not. So my initial assumption was that this was a higher end version of the MPUV that could carry goods offloaded from other ships and had tractor beams to do that job. But now it actually appears that it's the same ship and you're actually getting the one that has tractors by default with no pod, while the others later will be updated to include hard points for tractor beams, which you could buy later if you chose to, and you would have the pod of the unit that you bought either being cargo or personnel. Well, that's about as clear as mud. So I'm gonna give you my impression, and it may be right or wrong, but I think this is what's going on in my take on the situation. 
The Argo Cargo and personnel will eventually keep the pod that you purchased. And at some point, both of those versions will have new hard points pop into existence, and while you will not have tractor beams on your ship, you will have the ability to buy them and equip them in the game if you choose to do so. When looking at the MPUV tractor then, you buy the ship but not the pod, and the ship, which is an example of the intention for the others, will come with the same ship but with intended new hard points and the optional tractor beams attached, but you do not get the pod that either of those have. If that's how this all pans out, then here's the breakdown on the ships and my take here. If you want a ship that can offload cargo from a ship like the whole sea, then the tractor beams seem to be somewhat mandatory, and since the other versions don't have that yet, then that makes the tractor the real viable option. Now, if you want a ship that can ferry people immediately, then the Argo personnel is the no-brainer, because nobody else has the seats. And if you want a ship that can load cargo in the more traditional fashion with the cargo grid, or maybe do like, um, commodity stuff, then the MPUV tra or cargo is the obvious choice. But that's still a little vague. So if we want to look out and make a real recommendation, here's where I land. Since all three will get tractor beams, and they seem to indicate that the pot of choice in the middle is flexible, either being seats, a cargo grid, or just an externally sourced cargo box, which is basically no box, then deciding on variant based on future is kind of a moot point. They'll all be able to do the same thing. But you can argue that based on expected expense and looking at current price points, we may get some indication. The cargo container is probably cheap. The personnel container is probably a little bit more, but not by a lot. And the utility items um, being the tractor beams are going to be the most expensive things to buy. Therefore, unless you plan on doing a lot of cargo hauling with the Argo Cargo, which is pretty unlikely based on the current state of the game and the lack of a quantum drive, um, and unless you plan to use the personnel, uh, Argo personnel for ferrying passengers around, which again is pretty unlikely, then taking the gamble on the tractor probably makes the most sense overall and would give you the best bang for your buck while assuming you could buy a cargo pod for traditional cargo as well as the personnel pod to transport people much like we expect the vanguards to work eventually. The tractor is my vote of the group while providing the least day one value but the most long-term value to price offering. My overall recommendation on should you buy here is no, simply put. Um, there simply aren't enough use cases to validate the ship being brought in at this point, and knowing the scaling of ship price to sales price in the game, the value is closer to that of vehicles, so it's not a good use of your real money. Um, I would put it like this. If you want this ship, it won't take long to earn it in the game. So unless you have a plan to future-proof, and I hate that term, um, and set up a business offloading whole-level ships and have people to fly them and plan to fly them in bulk, or you trust that NPC pilots are going to be a valuable asset, then I think it's you know easy to say, you know maybe, yes, we can look at this. Um, I think the ship will have value, but currently the pricing doesn't make a lot of sense, and there are a lot of dependencies on the future development, and it doesn't do a lot for you now. The only purchase value I see if you already is if you already have an Argo ship and you're maybe considering an upgrade, then sure, I think there's you know some conversation there between the cargo, the personnel, and the tractor to figure out which one's the right run for you. Um, and I personally think the tractor is the best long-term bet. Um, but aside from that, I think save the money for other purchases. The last note would be a ship like this we would normally say is worth a look um, if you're talking about a, a LTI token. Um, but considering we just had um, a space bike come out with LTI um, a couple days ago, that's cheaper and honestly a better value if you actually want to keep it until you need it. Um, I think that this one's probably not even worth buying as an LTI token because there's other options currently available for cheaper to do that task. So that's it on this video. I hope it brought some clarity. Stay tuned for more coming soon. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.